Oh my gosh, update 33 is here. The spooky Halloween update for 2022. Now look at down here. We have a Paragon here and we will get to that, but we have to check out some other stuff first with the first being our new map cover garden. There's a lot to cover here today. How are we going to get it all? And then we have another new map as well called Midnight Mansion, which we got to dive into. But first, let's start off with the trophy store items. I'm actually really excited to try out this new monkey farmer banana costume. I think that's pretty funny. I do love my Grim Reaper, but we'll try out the new banana. A honeybee glue trap that's kind of fun and a door gets a dragon maybe i'll actually use a door now because that's actually a really cool pet and the monkey ace gets an ace dragonfly let's do it and i'm really digging these banners but this patchwork one just looks really awesome i'm gonna give that a try and i have a bajillion trophies so why not right but hey let's just do it now you guys have all been waiting for it i know that's why you even clicked on this video you want to see this thing do you have a million xp hopefully you do so you can get the goliath doom ship we got to try it out and it's eight hundred thousand dollars that is ridiculous Previously, the most was the Master Builder at 650, and now we're at 800,000 for the Goliath Doom Ship. That is madness. But before we jump straight into the Goliath Doom Ship and see how powerful it is, I want to see what this map is all about here. And it looks like you can only place on the side where the window is open and it's going to move. Does it move every single round or just a couple of rounds? And does the sniper work everywhere or it doesn't, does it? Oh my gosh. So you can only see down like certain paths and not everywhere because it's blocked by here, kind of like on hedge. And we're not even able to place the sub just yet because we can't get to that side of the map. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do first? I think we should just get our dart monkey here here and just keep everyone at the front of the track for now and just kind of do it that way and then maybe I that, that should work right even though it's not the best spot for attack I just want to see what happens each round okay so each round okay so that round it moved up and at the end of round four it's gonna slide that way okay but now it's a good time to place like other towers so I think we could actually move our tack and this will be a way better spot for it we did lose a little bit of money but it's okay now I can't even upgrade my tack while it's covered that's kind of different so it's one thing to have it blocked out but now that I can't even use it we have to wait till it comes back around so I guess it's best just to save up your money and then when it gets to that point just go for it and it seems to be following the same pattern it doesn't like go back this way or switch them up or anything like that. It's just going to keep going around in this circle, it looks like. Now, what we must figure out are the secrets. There has to be a secret with a map like this. Like, you can only click it on certain panels on certain areas, and then there's this little secret spell that comes out or something like that if you hit these in a certain order. If you guys find it out, let me know below for sure. So, one way to stop any type of covered map shenanigans is just to get a plane, because it doesn't matter where he goes. He's global, and he wrecks everything. But I did so notice something a little crazy. So I did place him on a majority of this side of the map, right? But now look it, when I go to click the alchemist, it just immediately unclicks. So you can't, you can hold it there, but you can't click him even though he's on that side. That's a little silly. But I think it's time to try our new little banana farmer. It's the best time. He's dancing. He's having a good time. So a complete opposite of our Grim Reaper monkey that we use, but I'm digging him. He's a happy little guy. I honestly can't get over how happy this guy is. He's literally just collecting bananas and he's super stoked about his job. He couldn't have any better days than what he's having right now. I totally forgot about the balance changes though and we got something new with our wizard for at least what I was understanding if you go guided magic and now you do oh look at now you can target it like the engineer so you can place your fire wherever you want it to that's actually going to be literally the best thing ever think about it now you don't have to screw around with it so if you can only fit him in the front right there you just throw your fire back here and you don't have to ever worry about it like oh my gosh is it gonna have enough time to regenerate it's always gonna be fine that is great so imagine this though you could literally place like wizards like this and then place them all in the same exact spot so you could just have literally a wall of fire and just have 30,000 of them. I wonder how many. Oh, we got to do that. We got to see how many we can place in one spot on a cool map and see how much damage it can do. That would be so awesome. Now, the last thing I want to do before we wreck this map up, we're almost around 80, is I want to get a carrier flagship. Now, what I'm thinking is like, he can now see everything, right? Like he can see over the ledges, no big deal, except for those ones for some reason, but everything else. Now, does he hit his head? I imagine his head is like overpowered. And so when this closes over it, you can still click on your monkey. You'd have to, right? No, that's a glass ceiling. He broke it. His head is sticking through it. Has to be. Hard wasn't too bad. I bet you guys can knock out that black border on chimps real quick. Now, I don't want to get into this map too much because I'm about to go live here on YouTube and we're going to test it out together, test out the Doom ship, test out everything, see how crazy this update is. So I hope you guys can join me. 
but I just want to see the general area of what's going on here. So what's up with this fire here? Can we not place? Oh, so it blocks it out. Okay. So, but a tower like this guy with some guided magic shouldn't matter through the fire, right? He can shoot through the fire and the flames. Let me know if you got that reference. Now, what happens when they go through this portal here? I think we should sell him to see what's going on. Now, there is 100% a secret with this map. It, there has to be. This guy's over here twitching. There's all these little monkey things. Someone has to figure this one out. Okay, so look at that though. The flames change. And what happens when we go through the portal? Oh, it, it just sucks through and that's your life? You're just dead? You're going to the other side. It's like the haunted mansion at Disneyland. Oh my goodness. We can remove this for 250. We can move that one. I'm just addicted to clicking. We got to figure out what the secret is. We have to. What's kind of cool is it seems that the, the knights are what's controlling the fire. So this knight controls this fire up here and down here. And this knight controls this fire. So whatever these words translate to, I imagine it's something along the lines of like, come on, baby, light my fire or... I fell into the burning ring of fire or we didn't start the fire or St. Elmo's fire. You guys get where I'm going with this. Let me know below if you can add any more to those. But I think it's enough of this map for now. Like I said, if you want to check it out, come join me live. We'll test it all. But for now, what you've all been waiting for, we're going to test out the Doom Goliath ship. I have just given myself a bajillion dollars on Challenge Editor. We have Dragonfly Sparks over here and we are ready to go. We're gonna get it for $864,000 on hard mode. Are you kidding me? What are you trying to do here? Look at that thing though. Okay, I can, oh, I can put where I wanna put its bomb. For now, I wanna put it here in the center. Just, okay, we're gonna put it in the center for now to see what it does. And we're on round 98, guys. This is round 98 with a paragon of one degree. I don't even know what to say. He's just wrecking it. He's destroying it. Let's try out this bad and try out this ability. We don't even need it. And the ability to carpet bombs the entire screen and you're done for. I want to know what this target means right here. Like, what is that doing? Look, it has like a little red thing around it. What does that do? Okay, now there's a green one. Okay, that's too far. So red and green. So what's it going to do is keep dropping that area? Maybe when I put my bombs down? I have no idea. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. But it's literally carrying through the early round 100s like it's nothing. But I'm wondering, can we put multiple down? Did they end up going through with their thing where you can only have three down? Now, this is challenge editor, but it's technically still a game. So it should be the same thing, right? So we'll grab two paragons there. Let's go with our dart monkey as well. And let's see what we can do here. Okay, there's three. Let's go for our ninja. Paragon limit reached. Oh my gosh, do you see this? So you are limited to just three in your game, even on challenge editor. But so far, this thing literally just wrecks everything. I can't wait to test it out for real on the new maps. Join me live. That's all I can keep saying. Join me live. Hang on, where's my limited time items though? I need my limiteds, guys. I gotta feel cool. I gotta feel like I've done something with my life for the past three years when I have limiteds that nobody else has. What's that about? But there's so much more to this to check out. And of course, I won't rest until I cover it all in my future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely join me live if I'm still live at the time you're watching this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And if you haven't yet, check out this video where we use Pokemon to beat Blue Narius. It's really fun and crazy. You gotta check it out.